A former Roman Catholic priest was ultimately convicted and sent to prison for molesting children over a period lasting many years. In tonight's Fox 11 investigates, Gina Silva reports the priest is not only out of prison now, but back in church pretending to still be a man of the cloth. In this small church in South LA, he's known as Father Carlos Ramirez, a priest who prays over his parishioners, offers the Eucharist to the faithful, and is friendly with the children. Parishioners have no idea this man is a convicted sex offender using an alias. A former Roman Catholic priest who was sentenced to eight years in prison for sexually molesting boys in Santa Paula. Gina Silva with Fox 11 News. Why are you using a different name? I don't know what. what oh, this is. He was shocked to find himself the subject of our Fox 11 investigation. Your name isn't Carlos Ramirez. Your name is Carlos Rodriguez, a registered sex offender. Rodriguez didn't want to talk to us. You're not going to get anything. Sorry. But his victims, who are now adults, have a lot to say. How did the abuse affect your life? Emotionally, spiritually, you know, um, I was raped as a child. Manuel Barragan has had a rough life. He's battled drug addiction for years, and he's been in trouble with the law. Do you think your life would have been much different if you hadn't been abused? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would have gone different directions in my life. When Manuel was a little boy, his parents met Carlos Rodriguez in church. At that time, he was a priest, and he was welcomed into the family. This man had a key to our house. You know, he had our key to our home, but I don't blame my parents for that. It was just a bad decision, you know, to let a, another man into our home, even if he was portraying to be the man of God. Manuel thought he was the only one being sexually molested by Father Rodriguez. We all grew up with this secret as brothers. Didn't talk about it. He later discovered Rodriguez was also molesting his two brothers. This is Eric describing what happened to him. Without saying anything, he just lay down. He pushed my pants down um, and he pushed his down. And then I put my hands behind me and I said no. And I tried pushing him away. But he just said, just, you know, just, it, it's going to be okay. And then he just forced himself in. The boys were sexually molested for nearly five years. It took them a long time to finally reveal what Father Rodriguez had been doing to them. They found the courage to file a police report. And that's when they discovered their priest had a long history of abuse. He was wreaking havoc on, on so many families, so many children. Attorney Anthony DeMarco has represented several victims of Carlos Rodriguez, cases the archdiocese eventually settled. Father Rodriguez went into some of the most vulnerable communities, communities where people felt disenfranchised, where they didn't feel like they could go to any authorities and talk, where the children themselves, because of the reverence priests were held in, didn't feel like they could tell anyone about it, and he knew that. In 1986, Rodriguez was ordained as a priest. A year later, he was accused of sexually molesting a seven-year-old girl. The church sent him to Maryland for treatment, where it was concluded that he was not suffering from pedophilia. So he was sent back to California. One after another, he's going around the parishes in the Ventura and Santa Barbara County areas where he meets numerous families. By 1993, there were so many complaints, Rodriguez was relieved of his clerical duties. But he continued to work at different parishes in California. Finally, in 1998, Rodriguez was laicized and no longer allowed to have any affiliation with the Roman Catholic Church. In 2004, he was convicted and sentenced to eight years in prison for the sexual molestation of Manuel and Eric Barragan. They thought that would be the end of their nightmare. But it's not over. You're here now because, you know, he's back in the limelight. It's true. Rodriguez is back at a non-sanctioned Catholic church, passing himself off as a priest, using the alias Carlos Ramirez. Attorney DeMarco says he's not surprised. This man is a predator with children, and he utilizes that collar. He utilizes that priestly mantle to get access to children to molest them. You're back in a church when you know you have been defrocked. Do you have anything to say to these families? Do you realize that you have destroyed the lives of these boys? People need to know who this man is. 
you know, and now, now that you've you found him and you've asked him questions, give him the facts. Yes, he was accused, convicted, raping, molested children. He has nothing to say, you know, no remorse. When we spoke with parishioners about the man they know as Father Carlos, we got mixed reactions. This lady said she doesn't care and we should leave it up to God because we're nobody to criticize. Others struggle to believe it. I'm shocked and um, I don't want to answer none of that. And this woman from the community. I am indignant and I pray to God all of this is seen and we react properly to what's being presented here. In our next report, just how is a convicted sex offender able to do this? Look, everything he's doing, it seems, is outside the law. And what can be done to stop him? Gina Silva, Fox 11 News. Leaders within that church community, not affiliated with the church diocese, say because of our story, Rodriguez will not be allowed back. Meantime, the Archdiocese of L.A. says if anyone ever has questions about a person's eligibility to minister, they have a phone number and a website you can check. We've linked that information to our website, foxla.com.